Hello YouTube, Maximum Photoshop's back with another tutorial for you guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make colorful smoke effect. But before we get started on the tutorial, I have to let you guys know that you're going to need some smoke brushes. So, I put a link in for DeviantArt in the description. And here are a couple smoke brushes, nine actually, for you guys to use for this tutorial. Once you're downloaded, come back and let's get started. So here we are, and this is the effect that we are going to attempt to make today. So let's make a new document. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to make it 1,366 pixels wide and 768 pixels tall. A resolution of 72 pixels per inch and regular 8-bit RGB color and background contents of white. Hit OK. So first what we're going to want to do is make a new layer and with the foreground color black use the paint bucket tool and paint the composition black. Now what we're going to do is once you have your installed brushes we're going to go here make the foreground color white and we're going to start painting our smoke onto our composition with the brushes that you have downloaded. That looks a little blurry, so I'm just going to make the size a little bit smaller at around 764 and we'll just paint that. Just to tell you guys, I have tons and tons of brushes and sets as you can see, so my brush might not be the same as yours, but don't mind that. Let's continue on with the tutorial and use your brushes that I gave you in the description and I'm sure that it'll work just fine. So if you see things like this, if we zoom in, you can see first of all a lot of dots that we don't need. And it's squared. We don't want it to be squared. So what you can do is take the brush tool, go back to the standard circle, get the foreground color to black, size down, and paint over in black the things that you don't want. Keep in mind that we don't have a layer mask on. This is simply black and white painting. So I don't want this thing here. Let's take that out. And that looks okay. Oh, there's a little more. Keep in mind that I'm not doing it very accurately. This is just to show you guys a quick way on how to do it. <coughs> Next, We'll get this layer to be non-visible. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm a little sick. And we'll make a new layer. Now, we'll take the gradient tool, and we'll make the gradient this nice rainbow color. It should be in your presets right there. Hit OK once you have that. Now, while holding Shift, drag it across your composition, and you should have this cool looking rainbow gradient. Now get the layer visible of smoke and the last thing we're going to do is change the layer styles. We're going to hit this layer with the gradient and scroll down to color. And that's it guys. As you can see we have our smoke color smoke effect. If you take out this gradient layer it's black and white. But there you go guys. Thank you for watching, and if you need any design or photoshopping done, visit d2design.co. I'll place the link in the description so you can access it quite easily. Once again, thank you guys for watching another one of my tutorials. Please subscribe, watch some more videos, and I will see you next time.